So here we go with another question that if we know one math fact becomes much more easy for us to do, but if we don't know that fact, it, it kind of becomes impossible. So this is kind of another memorized formulas question. Even though we're not really dealing with a formula per se, we still need to know one important thing about how absolute values work. Basically, they are a shorthand for two equations. So the one equation, the easier one to find, is going to be just basically what we're given without the absolute value things. So it just drops those bars and leaves us with 2x plus 1 equals 5. The other equation, though, captures the situation where absolute value actually does have an impact. If the stuff inside the, the absolute value bars is negative, the absolute value bars make it positive. And that's, that's the end result is negative. It becomes positive, meaning that if 5 is inside those absolute value bars, we would just have 5. It would not have any effect. But if negative 5 were inside of those absolute value bars, well, it would become positive 5. And so that's what's getting lost when we put those bars up. So we need to kind of bring it back. So really, we have two equations, one that looks very much like what we were given, and another that just is the negative result of what we were given. And now we just solve the, them both. So 2x plus 1 equals 5. We can just do some normal algebra there, subtract 1 from both sides. 2x is equal to 4, divide by 2, and x is equal to 2. And then same thing with the green. Doesn't really change much here. We're subtracting 1. 2x is equal to negative 6, divide by 2, and we get x is equal to negative 3. And remember, at this point, if we weren't confident that what we did was right, we could just go back to the original equation, plug these numbers in, and see if they work in the original equation. And, and they will. I'm not going to waste our time with that. But remember, there are little steps you can take along the way if you don't feel 100% just to kind of confirm that what you thought to do is, was the right thing to do. Um, in this case, they're giving us one last instruction here, which is to take the absolute value of a minus b. Well, which one is a, which one is b? Doesn't matter. And the fact that they didn't tell us is a good sign that it doesn't matter. Just do whichever you like. So let's do a, uh, this is a and this is b. So that's going to be 2 minus negative 3. Notice how I put those parentheses around my negative 3. I don't want to lose that negative. So this becomes 2 plus 3, which is 5, and the absolute value of 5 is 5. That's it. If we had done it the other way, we still would have gotten 5 because we would have had negative 3 minus 2, which is negative 5, which is 5. So there you go. It doesn't matter. But this is a good question, uh, really just testing whether or not you understand what absolute value is. It's a good thing to just hopefully you are now reminded of it if you got it wrong. And you should be able to get it right next time just by creating those two equations, the positive one and the negative one.